I think each individual service member will sort of uh, take the temperature, as it were, within their command, within their squad, and they will make that determination. Uh, with respect to the policy of non-discrimination, that language was in the bill. Unfortunately, it's the sausage-making factory, the legislative process, and it got dropped. Uh, uh, the Defense Department was adamant in not having that language there. However, uh, SLDN has called upon the President to issue an executive order uh, prohibiting discrimination based upon sexual orientation or gender identity. They have not responded. I hope the President will do that. I'm not sure that he will. Uh, however, I believe Admiral Mullen uh, and then Secretary Gates, when they both said there will be zero tolerance, I believe they will enforce that. SLDN will be closely monitoring that. But to your point, to be there every day in that squad, uh, whether it's in Korea or the Middle East or Fort Jackson, South Carolina, Just we can't be America. there every day. <laughs> uh, so it's going to come down to leadership. I just want to add something to this too, because I think this film originally was was going to be an essay about institutionalized homophobia, sort of evolved, because at the beginning I, I think none of us thought that the repeal would really happen, so it was going to be more of a <laughs> thing. I told you it was. going to be like a dramatic <laughs> thing. But the interesting thing is when and for from the beginning of the process to the end, we tried to get access to the Department of Defense, which Aubrey helped us with, and finally came at the eleventh hour. And I think for us, it was very interesting how, you know, we went into this place, the, you know, where the, the, you know, the leadership of the Department of De Defense, and the, we never got that feeling of homophobia. I mean, it was incredible, in, in fact, how generous they were. It was almost like they were atoning for the sins I of. I think they definitely were trying. <laughs> well, but I, but I do think that that this idea of the, the kind of evolution and, and getting rid of institutionalized homophobia does take a long time and it does come from lead, the leadership and it with Mullen and Gates and then also the attitude that when they opened their doors to us, I mean we were we were kind of surprised. I